Henry, aren't you going to get up? It's almost noon. I was editing video until like 2 or 30 in the morning last night. I'm tired. Aren't you going to feed the baby? Yeah. I'll do that. Is the baby hungry? Welcome to Henry's How To. This is my 1965 Mustang. I did some body work on an Impala for a guy, and this is my pay. It's pretty solid. Inline six, but it uh, started right up and it sounded great. Um, did a lot of the grunt work, like uh, got the undercoating off the apron, stripped it all down, metal conditioned it, and then zero rusted it. Also redid the suspension. I zero rusted the underside. And uh looks pretty nice. It's getting there. Also did it under here. Did the fenders. Back sides of them. And uh got a project within a project. Fender splash shields. And uh there was that nasty undercoating on those too. Some of the rust work included driver's side floor pan there's some rust in here and the guy made a patch didn't get all the rust out and he made this into one patch when it's supposed to be two the seam going all the way across so uh, I fixed that I gave the factory look back seam sealed it and zero rusted it and uh, I did the same thing for this side and if you're wondering why it looks all rough and scratched up um, at this point, I, I don't really mind. I just wanted to get a light coat on there. Um, later, I'm going to go over this whole thing with white zero rust. And it's going to look great. And uh, white zero rust back there, too. And uh, the reason why is because I'm painting this white. Um, when I initially got it, it had high build primer on it. And uh, I just didn't think the guy knew how to do body work. So I went over all his body work and uh, redid the metal work. And uh, now, there's hardly any filler work to do everything's really thin one thing I noticed that was wrong is the quarter was replaced and uh... wasn't put in perfectly the main issue I was having with this quarter panel was this area right here as you can see the gaps are nice and even now but uh... when I first brought this in here and I tried to line up the rear deck lid to everything over here it was touching right here and um, I determined that was from a car accident after 
they installed the quarter panel, but there is uh, issues over here, which is from the initial install. As you can see, there's filler work right here, and there's filler work right here to make up for the quarter panel being kicked up. As you can see, it's higher right here, and that's okay. There's a uh, some more work to take this off and it was done good enough you know I mean it was done clean over here in the gym so, and they took it all the way the whole distance and they did a good job so I, I left it in there and I compensated for it in other areas and uh, one of the things I did I had to do put a 2 by 4 right into here right into this gap. I can't find the, the actual 2x4 I used, but I had one where I cut a notch into it so this would slip right into here. And then I clamped it down through right here and behind. And uh, then I grabbed a port of power and it was based right here and then went all the way to the 2x4 and pushed it up and out so uh... after doing that it got my gap better but it raised this up a little high so then I grabbed the 2x4 banged it down right here and here and that worked great and that got me lined up better up on top And as you can see, we're pretty good to go right there. I was also having issues over here. And to uh, fix that, see what's in there? Yeah, shims. So that raised that. And, uh, I also could have put a bolt in there and grabbed a slide hammer and kind of yank it out a little bit, but uh, I just chose shims. That's fine. And so, after shimming it, there's still some issues with uh, the flow of these two panels. So, I didn't want to keep shimming it. So, what I did then was grab my trusty little 2x4 again. Hammered away like such, and that raised up that area. And now it's good to go. Good to go.